Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more Star Tropics, part of the Mystery ROM series. Today is the last chapter, last part of the game. And look at this guy. An illusionary image appears before you. You hear an evil voice. Ha ha, ha ha! I am the Prime Invader! Zona! Zona? <laughs> that sounds more like a soft drink than an evil dude's name. Come on, try and beat me. You'll be defeated like the Argonians. Is that so? We'll destroy you. Ha ha! Ha ha! Come on, Mike. Come on! Your head is aching. You jam... You jam bananas in your ears. What? <laughs> you shout, get out of my mind, alien scum! How big are this dude's ears that he can fit bananas in there? Okay, so... We have no health, by the way. You're shooting eyeballs at us. I mean, really? Oh, I... I'm doing some damage, but... Uh... Frickin' hands coming out of nowhere. Hey dude, you are not a wall master. Stop trying to grab me. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Whoop. Okay, you changed pretty significantly there. Okay. Well, that healed us up. That's something we needed. All right. Yeah. You guys are annoying. Come on, come up. I want to destroy you. I want to destroy you safely. Uh, I'm not even going to bother with you. Yikes. Ah, come on, let me move. They're making my life difficult. Oh, jeez. What the bloody hell? Okay, well, I go down here and I just am assaulted by all the everything ever. Both us. Both sides, just trying to make my life miserable. Ah! Ah! 
I can't jump over those. Ugh. All right, that's just probably as good as it's gonna get, so let's just move on. Stay out of the... Well, that was impressive. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can take care of this next part. Oof. Okay, um, we have some weird germ type things. That are not making it easy for me to move on. Look at you, you're a big ugly guy. Ugh. And you're also kind of irritatingly hard to hit. strategies or anything. Ah. Stop. Oh, wow. Okay. That was irritating. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, he will hurt if he hits. take out those little weirdo fuzz balls as soon as possible because he's not those can kind of just combo you to death you can jump back on here or just gonna be an irritant Come on, jump to the side yeah no that that's not the side Yay! I can't know where you are. Yeah, freaking fireballs. Mm -hmm. 
I can't get far enough over to see them. Oh, all the way, so. I don't mind if you keep doing that. If you're staying in one spot for it. Oh, shoot! What? Fireballs. Those fuzzballs just committed suicide. Okay. Oh, a heart. I will take that. Yeah. And I'll lose two more. I mean, half the time I just cannot see what he's doing. Problem is, I need to stay away from him because he's pretty damaging. And... Now my good weapon is gone, so... Ugh. Oh! What? Really? This does early in the battle. Ah. Oh. Ugh, another victim of terrible movement physics. Oh!
and he drops a little tiny star. They healed me up that one little heart. But that was not an easy boss battle by any stretch of the imagination. Spaceship is starting to explode. Hurry, get the last magic cube. You have no time. Get the last magic cube. I have, I can do nothing but follow this path. I have no speed up option. Got the last magic cube. Yes. You shout, I've got it. But now what do I do? Yeah, I'm kind of at a dead end here. That ship is exploding badly, but something has fallen from it. A little tiny twinkly star. Somehow we managed to get out, but we died. No, we didn't, because we found it. We helped that friendly dolphin earlier. Plot convenience. And so uh, we somehow survived. We somehow found an escape pod, despite there being absolutely no sign of there being an escape pod anywhere. And we have all the magic cubes and all as well. Welcome back to Coral Cola. Congratulations. <coughs> they know everything that happened, despite the fact that they didn't even bother trying to set out on once on their own. Thank you, rest of you, yes, Dr. J, didn't you? That's radical. Uh, I hear cream soda. Mike, can you show me how to use a yo-yo sometime? Um, uh, you're probably gonna need a different one than this. It's kind of had a few upgrades to it. Mike, it's me, Miss Coral. You look totally cool, except for those bananas. Why, yeah, why do we still have the bananas? The bananas are no longer necessary. I have to hurry, I'm gonna roast a pig for your victory party. Well, you're gonna have to go find the pig first, because it doesn't appear to be where it was before. Who are you? Stay away from here. I'm just kidding you, Mike. I guess the shaman is at our chief site. Mike, want to go fishing? Have you managed to the ABCs of fishing? Uh, yeah. I need a worm. I'm not gonna find one around here. Where do you come from, Spacey Cola? Spacey? I don't come from space. I just, you know, I didn't even visit there. I just was up around the planet a little bit. Mike, it's me, Babu. Let's celebrate with some cola. You drink it and feel much better. Yes, I so totally need those hearts for all this no more game I'm going to be playing. Mike, you returned. Oh, you have the three magic cubes. I knew you could do it. The monsters have disappeared from the islands. Mike, our island is forever indebted to you. Navcom here, Captain. Circuits indicate success. Yes, your circuits, not, you know, just everything else. Also, I like how we're forever in, they're forever indebted to us. The kid that they just kind of forced into this whole shebang. Mike, you've done it. You risked life and limb. I know you almost gave up your quest. I almost... I didn't really almost give up. I just said multiple times, why are you putting a kid through this? 
But I'll tell all you battle like a hero under the Southern Cross. <laughs> now, Mike, let's join the three magic cubes together. Join the three magic cubes into the cubic Triforce. And it turns into something very flashy and colorful. They're transforming. Something is happening. Wow, the kids, who are they? They're elves. Oh, that one speaks. Listen. Hi, I'm Princess Micah, daughter of the Argonia leader Hirakon. We seven boys and girls are the last beings from the planet Argonia. Twenty years ago, when our planet was about to be destroyed, we were placed in the time-frozen magic cubes and sent to this planet. Our planet no longer exists, but we'll not cry for the past. Um, uh, okay. You're taking this very well. My father, Hirakon, told me to live in peace with the people of planet Earth. You speak to her. Hi, I might go find you a home. Mike, you saved more than cubes. You saved a whole race from extinction. Let's not go that far. Uh, seven uh, exemplars of a species is typically not enough for the uh, genetic variability needed to actually sustain a species, but... Uh, well, that, that can, we can just not deal with that at the moment. Many kids live on the islands. I know the chief will welcome you here. Oh, seven boys and girls. We welcome all of you. What's your new home? You'll be happy living here under the Southern Cross. That's a big assumption. We are pleased. You are so kind. I'm hungry. Is that a banana cream pie? To speak to them. Hey, anybody want to go fishing? Yes, because we all learned the ABCs of fishing. And it's time for the closing sequence. In which we zoom out slowly, and uh, not zoom out really far, into a uh, scene of planet Earth from... Where are you taking these images from? This is very far away. How did you get a camera all the way out to this far? Is this on the Voyager? And that's the end. Is there... yeah, there's credits, I'm sure. And that is Star Tropics. And this game isn't bad necessarily, but it's uh, it has its issues. You know, I appreciate what they were trying to do. They made something that was a little bit Zelda-ish, but not like a complete Zelda clone. It's definitely got its very its uniqueness, quite a bit of it. Uh, but the ability to the your ability to move around is really, really, really not good. I don't like how that they've got that stutter that you have to be turn. You have to be face in that direction, actually go in that direction, You, if you're not moving, if you're turning the other direction, you just kind of stops and then you get all caught up and, ugh. That is a, that is not a fun mechanic there. And that kind of makes a, for a lot of the problems that the game has. <laughs> that is a very weird image. It's the mobility is the big thing to me, for the most part. Um, and there are other issues, but there are other issues too. Um, you know, the fact that you start with three hearts each time, even though you have a weapon that is life force based, is uh, very problematic. It means if you die, you are really, really, really affected. Uh, so that's a little bit troublesome to me. Uh, 
some of the cheap and uh, unfair design in the dungeons, there's a good bit of that. Some super annoying, and en enemies are just kind of like, they wander between not really that much of a big deal and re really, really annoying. Which, you know, I'd rather have some middle ground, please. <laughs> Give me a little bit of middle ground there. Some enemies that aren't super annoying. But do pose a bit of a challenge. And there are some good enemies that do pose some interesting challenge. And I like that, you know, it had a it had a weird plot, but it kept it fairly consistent. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's it's an okay game. It's a little bit too hard for its own good. And it uh, it has some really s silly design, and the protagonist sticks bananas in his ears, which, uh, please don't. But, uh, I mean, it's not a bad game overall. It's worth a play if you are, you know, willing to put yourself through the challenge and the frustration. But if you're not, then, well, there are less frustrating games out there. Anyway, that is all for me for this game. Until next time, until next game, this is Doc. I'll see you later.